adding resources into the Primera Basics. Once a Primera Basics project program is fully developed, adding activities and activity relationships under WBS, we can proceed to add resources into the program. Before adding resources to the program, we have to create resources in resource sheet. The types of resources are labor, material, and non-labor. In non-labor category, the resources could be equipments and machineries. Planning the resource requirement for a project. Considering the developed project is a single story building project, the usual resources required are concrete, wall units, labors, engineer and supervisor. Understanding the components of resource loading, the maximum units allows the maximum units for a project. Like engineering staff is only one engineer is employed throughout the project. The budgeted units are the units required per day or per hour or per month basis. Activity duration. Activity time taken to finish the task is activity durations. When budgeted unit into activity duration is calculated, the required number of total budgeted units is derived. Actual units are the actual consumed units for the program. These are the general components of resource loading. We will take one example of constructing 1 meter square of RC wall. To construct 1 meter square of RC wall, you will be needing 110 numbers of bricks. One team consisting of two helpers and one mason can construct 10 meter square per day. That is three workers or three labors per day. To construct 50 meter square of RC wall, 50 meter square divided by 10 meter square, the productivity rate gives us five days per one team. This is how we calculate the required number of units for a project. Let's get into the practical application of resources into the program. We have developed a program in P6 and this WBS consisting of pre-construction approval, design and plan preparation, construction approval, substructure works, superstructure works, architectural and finishing works of a two-story villa project. Right click on it. Click expand all. Now we have to assign resources to these activities. Before we assign resources, as mentioned, we need to add resources into the resource sheet. In the enterprises, at the menu bar, click resources. These are the resources which are pre-existing in the resource sheet we have to create a project resources to add resources click add button the resource id should be two store two story project resources non labor next finish so all the created resources will be added into this section and some of the required resources is like materials labors and non labor resources will be added under this uh, project resources of two story before adding resources into this let us check the calendar what we have assigned into these resources select the calendar it has to be same as activities in activities seven day week with public holidays we have to assign the same calendar to the resources select resources go to details in the profile section, click on the calendar, seven day work week with public holidays. The calendar has been added. So 
we should continue to add the resources we need a design team design team it's a labor resources select labor price per unit is 30 dollar change hour into day 30 dollar per day click finish keep on adding the resources to s id to s1 artwork team click next it's a labor artwork team is 35 dollar per day click finish you must be careful while entering resources you have to always indent it to the order wise so keep on adding all the resources sequence are adding material resources substructure steel material select unit of measure set tons double click on it either double click on it or select click on the select button next price per ton is 2000 per ton click next click finish keep on adding all the material resources we have added labor resources material resources and non labor resources we can move on to assign resources to the activities go back to the activities table area right click click on the columns select resources resources in the list move into the selected options arrange the order after total floor click apply click ok you can see the seven day calendar as assigned in the previous session let's go to the resource assignment to assign a resources for a plan approval we cannot assign resources for a milestone so to assign resources for an activity task dependent activity for plan approvals select only the project resources which we have created yes the for plan approval set design team's responsibility click so one more important aspect is to you need to check on the details column in the resource section it can be customized right click on customize resource columns you can select which is the required and arrange in according to the order so budgeted units per time budgeted units actual units remaining units at completion units budgeted cost we shall move the budgeted cost after budgeted units so we, we may not require at complete units it can be excluded from the options click apply click ok so after assigning design team as per the price per unit rate of design team is 30 dollar maximum units per time is 30 dollar 30 day 30 per day 
so budgeted units it's eight day so total budgeted units is 248 into duration 30 days will give us 240 240 into 30 dollar will give the cost of 900 dollar so this is how uh, we need to uh, carefully assign the resources and its costing part so let's move on to assigning all the resources for the remaining activities for substructure design uh, design and plan preparations will be of the design team responsibility click add resources select design team again close it check on the dates and the units continue to add on the resources again design team authority submission again so it's a design team's responsibility its review and comments is by third party external party it's not with in the scope of our construction team so for excavation we need general earthwork team you can drag or you can customize the view like you can expand it you need only earthwork team is required we don't need the general worker for this remove the general working team you can remove here click on the remove select s yes. select s yes. okay so per is per unit budgeted units 8 into 7 is 56 then we are getting budgeted cost of 245 so we shall continue to add resources pcc and river work general workers team formwork and concreting again general worker team backfilling by earthwork team so concrete works is art c team in the formwork and concrete we need to assign rc team also click again select rc team so here you can see the changes here all the resources added is visible in the resource column continue to add superstructure for substructure we forgot to add the rebar quantities that is material resources we select the substructure seal material and concrete box we need equipment concrete mixer equipment so this uh, units we need to change we don't require uh, concrete mixer equipment for all the days so you can change to 8 into 216 two days yeah, last two days for concreting our sitting engineer supervisor even for substructure also we need supervisor first floor columns concrete mixer engineer supervisor rc team we have to add for all the concreting works as we double click here you can see the changes it will be added into this so we need to add only for our remaining uh, four activities like uh, superstructure steel rc team supervisor engineer and for finishing works we don't require any concrete works for finishing it's engineer workers team our team is not required supervisor so we exclude we'll remove rc team for external finishers 
it is the same team engineer supervisor general worker so we have done assigning resources to the project program as you could see the resources has been assigned for all the activities task dependent activities so this is how resource assignment is done you can check the resource assigned thing like usage profile for at the menu bar in this detail section for detail we need to click on the detail to check on the resource usage profile click on the resource usage profile icon you can select to see actual units remaining early or allocated early units or limitation this is the limit the black color line indicative line is the limit as you can see all the resources for over a period of time so there is no over allocation suppose if any resources is more stretched is a steel superstructure steel limit is in the black in line indication or stretched or more allocated superstructure let's go back to the details After successfully assigning resources into the program, let's learn about resource leveling. Let's go to the, let's check the resource usage profile, whether we have any over allocated resources. So far, uh, comparatively to the budgeted units and maximum units, the black line is of maximum units. We don't have any over allocation. So in order to show you how the war allocation will be, I'll be showing you the war allocated profile by tweaking the program. So I'll go to the details. I'll make some activities as concurrent like uh, minus 10 days lag minus 10 days so i have made these two activities as concurrent along with this some some part is concurrent so i'll schedule click on the schedule part you can see the completion date has has been taken back now let's go back to the resource usage profile to check the overall locations so as you could notice the activities the resources which are were allocated one is concrete the other one is steel steel of superstructure in a display section you can filter by current project resources instead of seeing all the project resources all other project resources you can see only the current project resources also you can customize the resource usage profile to show the budgeted cumulative remaining early display cost or its units for if you require a graph click on the solid lines apply click ok so you can see the budgeted remaining early war allocated early units this is zoom in zoom out to be throughout the project legend box you can place it drag and place it anywhere 
in order to deal with the overall located portion uh, thing like uh, concrete in the month of December that is fairly in this window period December 2020 click on the columns of the table area in the general select activity leveling priority click into the selected options place it before calendar click apply click ok so as it as per the default activity uh, leveling priority it's all normal activity normal priority so for me for this project for all the superstructure work is now top priority it's a top priority and uh, first floor can be i priority you can change the priority level to i so second floor is also i priority this is the requirement for leveling according to the priority order so if you assign the priority level uh, which is the first priority will be given first importance second priority will be given second importance third priority will be given third importance this is how it works in the resource leveling so let's go to the resource leveling option as you could notice this the resource leveling tab is just beside the schedule options tab click on the resource leveling tab the window will pop up deselect all this is the resource leveling tab click on the default this is the default scenario when you level the priorities that is activity leveling priority is in ascending order first will be given first priority second will be given second priority if you choose it to sorting by descending order the last one that is third will be given first priority so always make sure your order and give importance to, to that order so i have selected activity level prior, leveling priority as ascending level all resources or you can select the resources which you want to level either uh, we have exposed that superstructure steel and concrete is over allocated you can choose to level only these two resources or select all click ok preserve scheduled early and late dates it will preserve the early and late dates consider assigning in uh, consider assignments in other projects with priority equal higher than five or customized number so if you have assigned these resources to another project and if your priority level is less than the another project these resources importance will be given to this project if it is higher than the other project then these resources importance will be more prior to other project when you click automatically schedule level resources with scheduling i'll discuss about this option later so we haven't designed any uh, other projects with any priority so we can preserve scheduled early and late dates click on the level all resources click on the leveling as you can see the resources has been leveled what has happened is the project is pushed to 5th april and that duration floor the concrete resources is leveled which is under the maximum units the superstructure resources also leveled there is no more allocation this is because of uh, leveling considering all the options now let us look into the dependencies like the task dependency or activity type duration type and activity type
here if you change any activity as resource dependent and fix it units only you can change the activity type into resource dependent when you make an activity type into resource dependent the durations will be compromised the assigned durations will be compromised so the resource it will become a resource dependent activity so let's go back and assign it as in task dependent so these are the things you must be aware like what is your duration type and what is your activity type this will influence the resource loading click apply click ok and also in the scheduling part after clicking on the schedule icon go to the options level resources during scheduling you have to select this option then close schedule it so and while you scheduling you can go to the options again level resource during scheduling if you select this and close it and schedule it the uh, it automatically levels the resources let us see the changes here the first floor when when it is concurrent this one will be moved after completing this one you can see the changes this is because of this is a task dependent and the priority is assigned from top to yes so that's why this will change this is how the resource level works in primary cases after successfully assigning resources into the program let's move on to assigning the expenses as you could see the resources are assigned against activities and it has leveling has been discussed in the previous section now we can go on adding the expenses the expenses are non resource cost associated with project and it is assigned to the project activities they are typically one time expenditures for non reusable items it is like a lump sum cost some of the examples are facilities travel overhead insurance training materials you can categorize expenses by indicating unit of measures for expenses and specify whether an expense at the end or at the start or it is prorated over a period of duration each expenses as budgeted cost actual cost and estimated remaining cost we have to customize the columns of the expenses right click on the expenses customize expense columns right click we have to select expense item expense expense category accrual type can be at the last unit of measure we have to add unit of measure budgeted units price per unit and budgeted cost price per unit budgeted cost actual cost remaining cost can be vendor we don't need vendor the auto compute actuals can be at the last click apply click okay so we have set the expense format in the tabs now we can proceed to assign the expenses let's continue to assign cost expense cost to the activities selected activities for example for design plan preparations there will be a expense of administrative cost so select sir, training of staff in this expense category select training either budgeted units one 
unit of measure lump sum ls price per unit 200 dollar remaining so you have to make sure to select accurate type whether it is start of the activity or end of the activity or uniform over activity so we select uniform over activity and you can choose auto compute actuals select auto compute actuals similarly continue to assign different kind of expenses like for authority submission there will be an expense of permit under expense category administration thousand dollar thousand one units measure ls thousand select out of compute actuals and for remaining items can continue to add some of the expenses like uh, for PCC and rebar works, facilities we need to provide in uh, facility units, two units, again LS lump sum. one fifty dollar per unit. 300 so let's continue to add expenses for remaining activities expense facility one expense category equipment or administration to ls lump sum price per unit again 150 so we have added the expenses assigned expenses to few activities here now how this is going to affect uh, uh, the cost total cost so i i'll select auto compute actuals i want to show you how the assigned resource cost and uh, expense cost are coupled to combined to and generate total budgeted cost right click in the columns now we don't require the activity activity level priority so we move out of these options calendar is not required resources is fine then go to the cost in the available options click on the cost then select budgeted expense cost, budgeted labor cost, budgeted material cost, budgeted non labor cost, budgeted total cost. Click apply. If you could notice, the expenses which we have added for first floor column, facility one the budgeted total cost of expense is 300 it is being reflected in this 300 total cost then you can see the labor cost 840 dollar material cost 168 thousand dollars on non labor cost when you combine expense cost labor cost non labor cost and material cost you will be getting in budgeted total cost so this is how the cost has been loaded into the program so the total cost of budgeted expense cost is two thousand dollars labor cost is thirteen thousand material cost is two five two zero 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 and budgeted non-labor cost is thousand one hundred so total is two million five hundred thirty six thousand for the entire project this is how you get the cost loaded program you can only keep the budgeted total cost after deal selecting click apply in this lecture 
we will learn about assigning and maintaining this line for a resource and cost loaded program to assign a baseline initially we will add the resource columns and budgeted cost click apply click ok then go to project under project select maintain baselines when the window of maintain baselines pops up select add choose save a copy of the current project as a new baseline click ok so you can copy you can delete here so you have baseline b1 you can assign the baseline type Initial planning baseline. Click close. So the baseline, we need to assign a baseline to this project. We have just inserted maintain baselines. To assign baselines under the same project tab, click assign baselines. The project, select baseline, click the B1 baseline which you had maintained in the baseline user baseline as primary so you can assign this as a primary then click OK now the car project has been assigned with the baseline I'll show you how the baseline is baseline columns click on the dates select baseline baseline project start baseline project finish click apply click ok this is the baseline columns this is the normal start and finish to show the bars go to bars select select primary baseline click apply you can see the bars yellow bars underneath it is the baseline to show you the changes I'll select a different date for scheduling I select 31st May I'll click on the schedule so the yellow bars are the baseline the projected dates start dates has been moved from early May to early June. You can notice here and the start projected start is 31st May, whereas baseline project start was 4th May. You can assign multiple baselines. I'll show you one how to do it. Let's go back to the 4th May scheduling. Click select, click schedule it so we are bringing back this go to project copy paste b2 click this now open our initial program select open project under the project tab go to the maintain baselines select click on add we have already one baseline that is b1 which we created by clicking add and save a copy of the current project as a baseline we can convert another project to a new baseline of the project select convert another project to new baseline of the current project by clicking on this we can select a different project from the EPS structure and we can assign that project as a baseline to this project click OK then the EPS structure and window will pop up displaying the projects so you can select the project to assign baseline to the existing project so this is the existing project I'll select B2 
to assign B2 as a baseline for the existing project. Select here either double click or click on the select icon. So now B2 project has been assigned as a baseline in the maintain baselines. We will be assigning this in the from the maintain baselines. Click close. Go to project again. Go to assign baseline. Select a project baseline. Select the secondary baseline B2. Click OK. So go to the columns. Go to the dates again. B2, BL2 start, BL2 finish. You can see the project of start and finish of baseline 2. So you can indent it, organize. Click apply. So now we have two sets of baseline assigned to the project. One is from current project, the other one is from saved outside project. In the bars, select show the secondary baseline. Change the coloring red, click on the red, click OK, apply. Now let's schedule it. Go to the bars again, deselect the primary baseline. We don't want to see the overlapping. Click OK. Now you can see the secondary baseline. This is how we will be assigning and maintaining baselines to the project. We previously discussed how to assign a baseline for the project from existing project or from new project. We learned how to insert a baseline. So now we have a columns start finish a baseline project start baseline project finish. Now in this lecture we are going to see how to update an a program. To update a program we need to update the actuals and the percentage complete. Before that, let's assign columns. Go to the columns, right click at the columns, select date, select actual start, actual finish. In a percent completes, you have option to choose labor cost percent complete labor labor units percent complete duration percent complete or schedule percent complete or physical percent complete i would like to choose duration percent complete to monitor the progress so in the selected options we will arrange it like actual start is after baseline project finish actual finish is after actual start Duration percent complete is before the float. Click apply. Click OK. The configure the visibility. Now, coming to the plan approvals for the start of the project, the project has been started on actual start is a May 6th select the option so it's 100% complete milestone the start the plan is from May 6th or May 7th onwards started no no need to add any cell Plan approach started on 
6th, 7th May. Click on the start date here and went up to 5th June. Click finished. Actual, you can see the cost. Cost is updated as $900. Here for milestone, it's a $0. No cost was assigned. Similarly, you can continue to update all the activities with actual start date and actual finish date. For an example, the start date was supposedly on 3rd June for substructure design due to push in the plan of roll dates. The actual start date has been 22nd June. This was the actual start. It went on up, up to 8th July 2020. So click on the finish. It's 100% complete and the cost is also 100% completed. Similarly, the moment you enter all the actuals, you can see the actuals and the baseline information the baseline was 3rd June to 17th June, whereas actual is 22nd June to 7th July. So if you keep on updating all the particulars of the activity information, you can see the changes in the Gantt chart. You can continue to schedule also. If you schedule the activities which are succeeding or preceding will follow the actual, like I've scheduled on 7th July click select schedule it so on the 7th July what is the projected start and finish date of the superstructure design what was the baseline so oh, the baseline can be noticed here the actuals is in the blue and the green color is in the projected so I continue to update all the actual information. So the design was superstructure design started on 7th July, finished on 22nd July. Similarly, 30 submission, 23rd July to 15th August. So authority review and comments is still ongoing. It has not finished. So I'll review the finished date and the percentage complete. I'll put it as 50%. The remaining 50% is in progress. You can see the changes. You can actually amend it here also. 50% has been completed for authority review and comments of construction of roles. So overall construction approval progress remains at 75% whereas the total project progress is at 31%. If you want to notice or see the cost part like uh, what is the earned value, earned cost, go to the tracking, select the two story, click on it, expand it. You can see the actuals, the pre-construction approvals, actuals, the blue color one in the indication, budgeted cost, earned cost. Still, we haven't approached up to the uh, construction stage of substructure and superstructure. We were in the approval stages. So the budgeted was this much and actual cost is this much. And the earned value cost, planned value cost, estimate to complete so these are the estimate to complete and details we similarly if we continue to update periodically the progress we can see the cost information also this is how we can uh, update our projects then going back to the activities of the project 
you can see the actual informations we have uh, updated here you can uh, update all the actual information and you can schedule it for like if you are updating weekly you update the update the activities on weekly basis and schedule it on the week hand like a 7th july if your scheduling date is every week on monday you put this date like uh, unschedule it so once you schedule as per the actuals or updating dates the progress will show you accordingly so now the, our scheduling date is 15th august so you go back to that and we select 15th august because we have updated up to 15 august so we will select so the remaining activities and the baseline you can format the bar options bar colors also here you can select whether you want to see the baseline primary baseline apply click on selection apply if the color changes you don't want to see the secondary baselines deselect it apply the format changes there is also a future like uh, if you want to track for a certain period like the spotlight future where you if you put the spotlight the activities remaining in this spotlight will become the yellow colored highlighted one this spotlight future is for highlighting the activities and the one more future would like to uh, specifically discuss here is so you can see the cost it is actually labor cost if you go to the non labor cost if you had assigned any non labor cost information you would also notice these changes non labor units you can notice the changes if you have assigned any weightage or non labor units labor units like 192 was budgeted actually is 192 and the duration percent duration percent complete the status if you are apart from updating at the actuals you have you can also update for example for 31st authority review and comment section you can manually update here in the status like if original is 24 actual is 12 the remaining is 13 if you update the remaining that complete will change so route complete is 24 then it's uh, the remaining will change so you can update here also let's move on to the next session that is exporting importing and saving for saving in project for exporting a layout or importing a report format we have to know about the project communications we have set up at this layout like activity id name virtual duration start finish baseline project start baseline project finish actual start actual finish and duration percent suppose if we plan to use this same format in the near future we can save this layout to save this layout we can go to the layout options go to the click layout select save as project tracking format save now this layout has been saved as project tracking format you can open this layout and export this layout also for communicating with a client who wish to see the same format go to open layout click export you can export to a desktop the layout file will be primera layout file plf dot plf click export close you can import the same exported file which is saved in the desktop plf format go to the layout options select open select import the desktop you can see the project tracking format plf file click on it 
it has been selected click open you can select format one change the layout name now it has been imported back similar fashion you can import export different formats of layout of a program it can be sent across to clients for communication purpose coming to the saving of this file go to the file either you can export or import the file to export the file go to the export option in the file in a primary of p6 you have options to export export in the sense you can save these files in a specified folder and as per the required versions for primary of p6 xr file the file is up to 16.2 version you can start exporting the file from 5 version to 16.2 for example some of your client might be using a 8.2 version or 15.1 version they cannot be able to access 16.2 so you can send or export the file in 8.2 version or 15.1 version so click on export format and go to the next similar in the you can save the file or export the file in a spreadsheet microsoft project mpx format and xml format spreadsheet format also p6 xml format primary contractor xcr format now let us export 15.1 version of xcr primary pm go to the next type of data to export select complete project project id project name let it be the select select the name can be civil project the name exported to be in the desktop click the save format so now it's ready to export the export as successful close it and go to the desktop and check the file that has been exported you can see the civil project primary p6 file here you can re-import the same file by clicking import next project this select options go to the desktop civil project select next click next update ex existing project import actions you have to note these import actions you can create a new project you don't need to update existing project because you don't have any changes in the existing project create new project import to you can select the wbs i'll select civil pm project monitoring double click on it or either you click on the select options selected then next the configuration is default configuration next finish the file has been imported close you can check out that it was a baseline and the imported is here and you can rename it here also like pm project monitoring file click and open the project So we have learned about exporting and importing a layered file and P6 file. And the same thing can be applied for the reports. Go to the reports, go to the tools, select on the reports. To open up the report section, if you have assigned any resources, you can check the resource details, resource rates, EPS, WBS summary, WBS details, project reports. We'll run this expense summary by project. Right click on it, run it, run the report. Just uh, select the print preview. 
expense summary what was the expenses like actual cost budgeted cost remaining cost this is the expense which has been assigned close it we don't need this we can go by budgeted cost also or activity cost report right click on it run the report click on it select print preview click ok we can check the activity cost details like budgeted total cost actual total cost remaining total cost it's the pages up to eight you can select go down here you can check the variance cost also go up you can check the updated activities like activity status completed here total cost actual cost remaining cost it's at zero only the remaining cost is for substructure design there was 650 dollars 450 actual cost has been incurred a remaining is 200 dollars so if you go down and notice all the cost report details from the report like going through all the budgeted total cost of all the activities and remaining total cost you can also go for variance also then close the report here it's a this is uh, like uh, you can you can generate various uh, reports in the report section and the other advantage is you can save this report format either import the format also go to the activity cost click on it you can export and import or modify the report also so hopefully up to now you are familiar with all the exporting importing project files layout files report files and running the reports as you thoroughly practice these reports exporting importing and modifying the report according to your needs you are a pro user in primavera you have various report formats inbuilt templates you can create your own report format and you can save it here here it ends the project primavera basics training hopefully you have learned most of the things in uh, basics like an advanced user keep on practicing the tools like uh, creating activities wbs assigning resources cost generating reports and tracking periodically thank you see you in next course till then bye